In this video, I wanted to help you and your team get better results in your data visualization and storytelling projects. There are essentially four things that I normally recommend people to pay attention to. The first one is, what is the objective? What are the questions or the issues that you're trying to solve, you or your team, in that particular project? So I often recommend the team and the leaders to spend a big amount of time distilling and defining what the issues are for that particular project that you're working on. You may want to spend a lot more time discovering, spending time talking to different people. You may want to go around and ask more questions. You may look for data elsewhere. The second aspect has to do with data. Sometimes you don't know if the data is really available relating to the project that you're trying to solve. First understand if the data is available. If the data is available, can you easily retrieve? Can you easily bring it in and start using it? You may also have to spend some time wrangling it. You may spend some time exploring the data, creating some different correlation plots. And it's really a discovery process. It's about trying, finding different ideas, different results, repeating but always, always align to what are the questions or the issues that you are trying to solve. Okay, the third element has to do with the encoding. Once you understand the problem that you're tackling, you have the data, you need to start encoding that data. You need to start creating the graphs. And there are many ways you can go about it. It also depends on the audience that you're gonna be talking to. It depends on the time that you will have to deliver. It depends on the medium. And so there's a lot of different factors that you need to consider. But pay attention to simplicity and rigor. Okay, the last one has to do with the narrative. And narrative is all about structuring your story. It's about having a beginning, a middle, and an end. And being able to walk through your audience what you want them to do. So the questions that you define will help you understand how to structure your narrative. I hope those four elements can help you and your team think a little bit more about how to improve the way you deliver data visualization and storytelling projects.